What's up YouTube and welcome to Love DJ YouTube channel where we love everything about digital art and graphic design and in this tutorial we will create together this cool abstract futuristic background design and all you have to know that it's not that difficult so let's dive into it first we will create new document with full HD resolution pixels for measurement RGB color mode let's click create first thing we want to do is to replicate the background so we will choose a rectangle tool click on the artboard write the size of our artboard in our in our case it's full hd 1920 pixels against 1080 pixels click ok now we will center it horizontally vertically if you don't see this align this control you can go into windows and allow it here and align you have also here so you have multiple choices and now we want to create this cool uh, gradient background so let's choose this option and let's start to design it i already know what colors to pick so we will use basic swatches for this gradient background so let's do it use this purple in your basic swatches and we will add new uh, circle into the middle and we will choose this blue color so it creates this kind of effect in the middle which will work well with our design and now we can lock this layer now we will create new layer and choose line segment tool and draw line hold your shift key for a perfect line like this we will go into properties maybe choose white stroke because it's easier to see And now we can select it, go into Effect, Distort and Transform and Transform. We will choose 99% for scale, uh, 7 angle, um, 7 degrees, 500 copies and press OK. So this is the result so far. Now we will go into object and expand appearance and we can make it a little bit bigger and now we will change the stroke of our shape so select first one pixel and we will use special tool called blow tool if you don't see it you will see it under three dots it's here down there you can select it select it so select it, press enter and make sure that your width and height is bigger than the size of our shape something like this as you can see press ok and select it below the center something like this and just click 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 yeah click this is kind of result we are looking for and also we can now lower the stroke a little bit and we can go into stroke options and select this profile wait a little bit And also select arrow for this this one with the little dot at the end mm, I think it's getting quite interesting now we can transform it 
to look like this and up to your uh, taste you can play with this maybe you want to make the stroke bigger so the dots will be bigger something like this and now let's go select this go into object expand appearance again expand and now we have filling and we will now use gradients so in the swatch libraries choose gradients and fades and add the third one and you can select it already and we will play with it a little bit make 90 degrees angle and yes and now with our transparency choose lighten cool we have now cool color and now we will just drag it down like this of course and make it much bigger something like this maybe smaller <laughs> this is too big I think and center it again and we want to get rid of the these parts that go beyond our artboard to do that we will just unlock the background and copy it ctrl c ctrl f or command c command f now you can see it's here but we will move it up into our layer like this select both of these and go into object clipping mask and make as you can see it's now only limited to the size of our artboard i think it looks quite good but maybe we can make it better to and play a little bit more with the gradient background uh, for our lines so we will select the lines in our layers and with the in the gradient tab we will move this a little to the left so it will be more hidden let's see i think this is better and it's more similar to the original original one as you can see so that's it guys this is how easy it is to create abstract futuristic background design like this with these small circles and i hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and if you are new to this channel please subscribe for future adobe illustrator tutorials and adobe photoshop tutorials and other videos and until next time stay creative and have a great day